hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shison for those and if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in so in today's video i'm going to be telling you about my career as a medical laboratory scientist so in case you see me in a laboratory please don't think i came there to film a video i am a laboratory scientist a medical laboratory scientist and a medical laboratory science is an interesting course of study it's an interesting healthcare degree program that i think you would want to do and if there you could branch out to other things you could do so many other things after biomedical science which they also call medical laboratory science you could do so many other things you should you could do so many other things apply if you wish to go over for medical school after biomedical science great choice one thing i must put out there is that medicine and medical laboratory science they are two different things okay there are two different things some people will say okay if you cannot do medicine go for med lab science they are related no and no and no they are not related they are two different things they are two arms <laughs> okay they are two different things if you are going for medicine go for medicine medical laboratory science can be used as a pre-medical course but it cannot be medicine it can never ever be medicine it can be used as a pre-medical course prior to your medical school just in case you didn't get into medical school you could study med lab science as a pre-medical course as a background knowledge for medical school it can never substitute medicine do not let people deceive you do not let people tell you they are the same thing you could do mls in place of medicine no if you're doing med lab science you know that your job description demands that you work in the laboratory. If you're doing medicine, your job description demands that you attend to patients in the ward. You di you prognose, you diagnose, and you treat. Okay, yeah, so that is it. There are two different arms of the healthcare system or arms in the healthcare system. Medical laboratory science is not known. So many people do not know it. So many people do not have an in-depth knowledge of what it really is and what it takes to be a medical laboratory scientist. So maybe we just feel we work in the hospital, we are just there behind the scene. We are a major part of the healthcare system behind the scene. We tell the doctors what is wrong with the patient. We give directions most times. We are like the ask me in an event where you say ask me ask me yeah we are like ask me in an event we are like the information center in the media yeah so we are there to tell the doctors okay this is what from our analysis from all we've done in the laboratory this is what we think is wrong with the patient from all we've done this is what we can see is wrong with the patient okay so the doctors did not know what line of drug to go what line of treatment to comment with. Without that or without that leading, it's very difficult to give the proper line of drug or line of treatment. So that's why we are very important in the healthcare system. Medical laboratory science is the study of body fluids. We communicate with body fluids. We do not see the patients. In some hospitals, you take samples directly from your patients, but in some hospitals, they have a, a, a phlebotomy station where attendants and technicians bleed the patients and then they bring the samples to the scientists to work on and in medical laboratory we have the technicians and we have the scientists in nigeria there are two different arms so the medical laboratory scientists are superior to the medical laboratory technicians yeah so in some hospitals you don't have any contact with the patient you just communicate with their samples so we analyze or we communicate with body fluids such as two urine sputum respiratory fluids whatsoever fluid that or peritoneal aspirates bone marrow everything that comes out from the human body that is what we deal with in the laboratory blood everything fluidy that comes out from the human body we deal with it in the laboratory that is what we do medical laboratory science has five i would say they have five branches some people would say they have four branches i would say they have five branches they have the medical microbiology we have the clinical chemistry we have the hematology we have the blood group serology some people combine the hematology and the blood group serology but may i see them to be two different aspects of medical laboratory science and then we have the histo 
pathology. Medical microbiology deals with the study of microorganisms, how they affect health, and they use the study of microorganisms for diagnosis of diseases and ailments and all of that. They deal with urine, they deal with medical microbiology. I think that's the only place in the laboratory that deals with every fluid from the body. CSF, blood, urine, stool, sputum, ascites fluid, abdominal fluid, peritoneal fluid, every type of fluid. Medical microbiology deals with every type of fluid from the body. Sputum, respiratory, anything at all in the body. Medical microbiology, they are the messy part of the laboratory. So many people run away from medical microbiology because it's messy. They are the messy part of the micro, I mean, of the laboratory. Then we come to clinical chemistry. We deal with quantity and quality. We quantify and we qualify with you with chemicals in the body, enzymes, hormones, enzymes and hormones, and we deal with organ function tests. We do organ function tests. I'll call it organ function tests where we assess the liver. So we do liver function tests and we do renal function tests. We do hormonal assay to check for the level of hormone. So that's why I say we quantify and we qualify. We know if there's a hypo or there's a hyper. So we analyze glucose level in the body, urea protein, different things, bilirubin for babies who have jaundice. In clinical chemistry, they deal mostly with serum, plasma, and urine. You'd rarely see cell. I don't think we deal with anything that has to do with the red cell, like pack cell. No, we deal with serum, plasma, and urine in clinical chemistry. Then for hematology, hematology is the bloody lab, blood, the study of blood. <laughs> they deal with blood, everything blood is blood related. They are the they are the bloody lab. They are the bloody lab. They deal with blood. They only deal with blood. I don't think they do any other thing in hematology. No blood hematology and blood transmission science or hematology and blood, blood group serology blood group serology that's a tongue twister there right so they deal with blood and blood and blood and blood and blood then for histopathology or anatomical pathology they deal with tissues from the human body they deal with biopsy and autopsies biopsy they get tissues from a patient who is still alive, they either incise or they excise. They either take a small part of the tissue or they cut it off, the doctors cut it off and then they bring it into the laboratory to check what was wrong with the patient in cases of cancer and chemo, all of those things. So we just, in histopathology, they deal with tissues, breasts. If you go to a histopathology lab, that's where you see human parts. You think you you think we do rituals in the laboratory human parts breast ovarian cysts fibroid different sizes you see different sizes of containers in the histopathology lab because that is where they store the human organs yes. we do all of these things for diagnosis to help patients to know what is wrong with them so the doctors will know what line of treatment or what line of action to take after the diagnosis or after the analysis in the laboratory tell you all about my career and in the next video i'll do another video and i'm going to tell you everything i think you should know about medical laboratory science here in nigeria